Bobby Kicks, we back at it. Back at it, Kick Street. We back at it, and Welcome back. Yes, I feel like I feel like a chef right now because there's a lot of baking going on right here, man. Yeah, it's a lot of baking going on right here. A lot of <laughs> no cooking intended, going on. Right? Yeah. Like, come on now. So, so this episode we're gonna focus on OG versus, versus retro. Retro. Also, we're gonna sprinkle in a little hype. Yeah. Right. And as you can see, as the users, as the whoever's watching this can see right now, and if you can listen, it's nothing but. It's nothing but air bacons. Bacon, 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 it's bacon, nothing bacon, but air bacon, bacon. Bacon, bacon, bacon. One of the most iconic Nike shoes, kind of painted the picture of the '90s. Yes. Um, but this is this is you. You're you're, you're a baking guy. So so I, I want to hear from you, my dude. Thank you. No, thank you for that. I yes, I agree. This shoe, Nike Air Bacons, is very iconic. Not only mm-hmm. because of the design, mm-hmm. but the controversy behind it. Yep. And one of my favorite point guards of all time. Tim Hardaway. Tim what's Hardaway, up? What's up? What's up? Cool the crossover, man. He really introduced that yep. move to the game and really yep. evolved it to the next level. Yep. You know? And this shoe, that one in particular right here, is my original shoe back in 97. Ooh. I wore these. You you touch these shoes, you're you're touching a piece of my mm. history right here, my, my past. This shoe right here in particular. Okay. okay? I, 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 I don't, don't want to drop this. No, it's this. all good, man. It's all Ooh, good. This is, this, buddy. Is, this is a beautiful right, shoe. This is a ni- and, and it's all the, used. But so the air bubble's all gone, but you know. of course. But you can you can you can see where I did my crossovers. Mm, yeah, I see. you know what I'm saying. I you see. Where that's, I jumped. That's some tread on it. Exactly. But you know, you kept it in good shape overall. No, yeah, that was one thing that I really did well before cleaning was ever a thing. Cleaning yep. products. I kept my stuff clean. It where whatever I can find around, you know, yeah. around the house to keep my stuff clean. But I kept these over all over the years, never now, knowing. I was going to do something like this and kind of talk about it years later, but here I am. Everything happens for a reason. For sure. Now, we talked about this in, in, in one of our, our past episodes about that controversy, uh, a, a law air. Yes. So, this is, here it is. At, at, a, at, it is. at a quick glance, this symbol back here, Nike introduced the air symbol in flames. Yeah. It resembled a lot as the symbol to mm-hmm. uh, represent Allah, mm-hmm. but the controversy was it was in flames. So, that, also, they took also offense. on the tongue. Yeah, that's it's, true. All, it's, it's also, also on the tongue. tongue. It's also on the tongue. It's so the, the Muslim tongue. community took offense because it looked like their symbol for Allah was in flames. That's not good. That's yeah, a religious sure. symbol. You don't want to put that in that type of you know context, right? Lawsuit. So, Nothing but lawsuits. So so Nike was pressured by the community, Muslim community, to to take it off the shelves. Nike was by already the way, selling them. And by the way, Allah means God in Arabic. Yes. Yep. This this let anybody know that. So so. Um, and I'm, I'm pointing this out not to bring any disrespect into like just historical context. For sure. But so back in 97, Nike was already selling these on the shelf. So some of them already got sold. Hence the ones I have on right here. Yeah. Um, so the pairs that they had on back stock before they went to the stores, what they did to kind of, you know, save them, you know, uh, any trouble to remanufacture these shoes or throw them away. Yeah. They created patches on the back. They literally manually put these patches over these shoes. Yeah. Yeah. I remember. Yeah, yeah. We talked about that. And you said that it was... With those patches, uh, they, they you black eat- them out and okay. then put those patches on there. So if you took the patch out, it'll still be blacked out. You, you can still reveal the air, but it was cool. all blacked out. Cool. I had, a, I had another pair, which is the Air Grills. Same idea. They, yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah. They I remember those. those. So there's another those. line we can talk about that later, but yeah, that's why they, you know, took them out of the shelf. So yeah, but overall, this shoe was one of my favorite ones because of the performance that I felt. Had these shoes had for sure you know, for a point guard. Yeah. I think Nike did an awesome job designing these shoes for point guards. The cool thing about it, these little slits yeah. are air vents. Yeah, so you can breathe. So so very breathable up top. Yeah, you know you what I'm breathe, saying. Yeah. High tops. I love high tops or mid tops like this because it supports the ankles. Yeah, I just sure. love that type of you know padding. For sure, padding still there on the ankles right there. For sure. Um, the suede, the rubber, everything was just awesome right here. Now, I now with these shoes for the first now, time. Now, I, I, I don't, I don't blame you. And these, these are the iconic. color combination, and everything. Yeah, these are iconic. Now, I see something that looks exactly the same, in 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 these. Yeah, yeah. And the retros. So we got and the, the retros, retros here. Yeah. So we got retros over here. We got the OGs and we got the hype. The hype is my recent pickup. I actually, when I saw these, I was like, all right. There's supreme. something there. There's something there. They are supreme, mm-hmm. but there's something there. There's yeah. more OG than there is hype branding on that shoe That's in particular. True. That's so true. OG versus hype. I always learn uh, always lean towards the OGs because that's where I came from. Of course. But the hype in this particular shoe got my attention. 
Of course. Because they kept it somewhat true to the OGs. Yeah. Yes, there are they are in all white and then the tumble leather that resembles a basketball grip is there. Yeah. But overall it's still an awesome shoe. You know? These are the retros. Now you can see that they added the Nike Air on the back, so they took away the, the branding. And you know what? I remember when they did this and I was like understood, but I was like, Dad, I miss you know. Yeah. I yeah. mean I mean it, it's still a, sh- a dope shoe. I mean, look at this shoe, man. Like I yeah. think they did a good job of retroing these close to what it looked like on the OGs. So, you know. Yeah, I, 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 I think would, so. I, I would think say so. so. Compared to other retros that come out, I think they did a, a fairly good job of, 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 I agree. of the visuals, of the aesthetics behind I agree. it, right? Yeah, Perf- I, agree. I, I actually played in these, you know? Okay. These are from 2016, uh, Excuse me, you play in all your sneakers. I play in all my sneakers. Yeah. I play in these. I have to. Yeah. I have to relive those childhood memories. So. Yeah, see, I, I like to rock my sneakers. Like, <laughs> rock them. I rock them, man. Dude, I ain't plan can you tell I played in these? Not really. They're pretty damn clean, yeah, huh? Yeah, they, they clean. Yeah, they clean. I cle- I keep my stuff, uh, stuff clean. So, I play in them, but I keep them clean. Yeah. And, yeah, I'll casually I wear them. It. Yeah, I respect I'll it. Yeah, I'm casually wearing them. But, yeah, I got these retros. I got these other retro uh, colorways. These are I, have, I have a question with colorways. these. I have a question with these. What do you think is the biggest... What is the biggest difference, right? Like, this is a... Let's see. This is a 2013 retro. 2013. And this is 1997. Yes. So... What do you think is the biggest difference? Two, I'm going to ask you. One, aesthetically, from an aesthetic standpoint, and then from a basketball uh, uh, wearing and a court standpoint. At first glance, I didn't see any difference. Visually, okay. I didn't see any difference. It, okay. it, it resembled what the OG looks like. So if I look at it, like, honestly, if you just look at it at a glance, I thought, cool, this is a one for, you know, one, for one. Okay, if you do a side-by-side, there might be some difference. Look at the, look at the air units. That's a big giveaway. Look at the air units. Mm-hmm. Let me see. I can look at it right here. Check out the air units. So the air look, look, unit. Look at it from a side. Oh, it's dramatically bigger. Is, right? is it, this the same size? The same size. Yeah. So did you, so and also the I call it the air bubble division. Back in the nineties, Nike's always Nike always had the air bubble that had a little split in the middle. It, that's true. The, they, the, they, the they, PSI they, split. A little seam. Seam. Right, yeah, yeah, seam. So this doesn't have that seam. Right. 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 That's one thing that they changed overall. Yeah. But the air units back then, as we know, were always bigger. Yeah, longer, bigger, bigger, yeah, pause. You know? So yeah. that's one big giveaway. But overall, everything else seemed pretty close. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, had, I mean, I'm looking at the front. It's, actually, yeah, you're right. The, the front, basketball symbol. The basketball you know, symbol on the OG is more yellow. Yeah, a little different too. And the retro is more orange. Yeah. See that? Yeah. Yeah. But you're right. From if I'm looking at it from afar, I'm like, okay, Nike did a good job. Overall, to really relive that childhood memory. Yeah. The retros did it for me. For sure, hundred you know percent. I mean, if you really go into like, okay, like the the little yeah. yeah. I mean, yes, the air bubble is a lot bigger on the OGs, and but, you know the, the the Nike. The, I'm sorry, the Nike basketball symbol on the toes are a little mm-hmm. different. But overall, if you wear these, like I'm back in '97. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I felt about yeah, the no, retros. I get them. And again, these are one of my favorite shoes because I remember I couldn't get the Jordans at the time in '97. Yep. So this was the next best thing. Yep. I played in them. They felt great. Yep. Because of the ventilations, how light they were up top compared to other shoes back then. Yep. And that's another episode when we talk about the build and stuff. But for sure. You know, I mean, this did it for me at the time when I needed a basketball shoe for school. So cool. this did it for me. Cool. So, and then when they came out with retros, I was like, dude, these are awesome. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. but I, like I said, I'm always leaning towards the uh, the the retros, OG retros colorways and so on that compared to the hype. For you sure. Can that real quick. So these right here are the latest. Yeah. Uh, uh, Air Bacon Retros. Yep. By Supreme. Yep. Okay. They ch- they added the flames, but they changed it to what? NYC. Shout out New York. New York City. Let's go. Right there. Let's go. I, did, I think they Brooklyn did an awesome particular. job. I think they did an awesome job for it being hype. I'm not big on hype, but they did an awesome job with these. I agree. Again, the shape, Smooth. The, 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 the shape resembled the OGs. I was like, okay. They added the yellow laces. Yep. Paid homage to the old school. Yep. All right. All white. I love all white. I that, not a lot of heavy branding from Supreme because I don't like the craziness behind it. I like it Supreme, subtle, Supreme, you know Supreme, 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 right, right, right. yeah. So I think they did an awesome job with this. Yeah. Um, overall, it looks like it has the same performance. The herringbone uh, traction on the on the, uh, the bottom. Yeah. The non marking. The same. Um, yeah. You know the air bubble looks pretty good. I mean, it looks more of a retro than the OG. Because yeah. It's really small. But that's what we that's what we've been getting for Nike. That's I mean, that's it is. it is what it is. That's what it is. Yeah. I like the details that they added. You know, the basketball uh, 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 a texture. Yeah, for leather, sure. You know? Yeah, that's mm-hmm. pretty cool. I I do intend to play in these. I want to fill them out. I want to see a Supreme 
still cares about performance. Yep. Or Nike still cares about performance. So yep. I'm gonna give this a play. Um, I wonder. I wonder what. I wonder what kick story is. That's I like. I want to call like our 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 sneaker our fellow sneaker enthusiast kick storians or kick yeah. kick <laughs> I don't know. I'm making up stuff. Yeah, yeah. But I wonder how other people feel about this. Like, how do other people that this love is under OG the radar. that particular shoot? No one really cared about. Yeah. Okay. No one cared about this yeah. shoot. They're caring about the, the right now the Travis Scott's when it comes to collabs and the yeah. hype stuff, right? Like, I'm actually glad I got these because no one was actually gravitating towards these. Yeah, that's true. I personally had a connection with these. Of course. This hype As model, we can see. <laughs> this, I, this is all your collection, bro. Like, I have no say-so in this, but I, besides admiration. Yeah. They got me on that. I'm not a hype person, but they got sure. me on that particular one. Why? Because of this reason. Because yeah. I still kept my 97s. Yeah. Because they still meant a lot to me. Listen, listen. Let's not dis... Those blues. Heck yeah. When those blues came out, OG. OG. Let me see, let me see what can, I was. remember seeing these in East Bay. Yeah, East Bay. East Bay. Rest Shout in out peace. East Bay. I know. Rest, rest in peace. Rest in peace. I'm sorry, East Bay. R.I.P. These blue, because these blue and grays came out almost the same time as they the did. OG. 97, you, right? You, you, uh, in the East Bay catalogs, you can probably see these on, uh, on I, I, IG. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. You see these advertised with that colorway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. They had a side by side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, I just, I remember those catalogs, dude. How, how, much, they, how much were they OG? Do you remember? Like men's size? I want to say like... 99? Oh, yeah, 99. 99? 99. Yeah. But they went on sale. Like, they weren't... They went on sale for like 79, dude, back in the day. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. 79 bucks, man. East Bay, I used to get Jordan... I remember the Jordan 15s, right? With the tongue out. Everybody hated them. I had the white and gray ones. I had the black ones. I paid like 49.99. One was 39.99. East Bay used to have rare... I wish I wore like... Not wish, but... Those size like 17, 18, those size 16, they should be like 1999. <laughs> Crazy prices. Just to kind of, you know, have them on display or something, right? That'd yeah. Be cool. But yeah, man, Air Bakers, man. This is another OG colorway. These yeah. are retros, but these are not uh, OG. Yeah, this is like a 2007 colorway. retro. Right. I remember this, yeah. These are not OGs. But when I saw these, I was like, dude, clean. Well, well listen, I feel like you'll buy every single color Air Bacon that's ever made. <laughs> Maybe. <I laughs> you know what I so. mean? Well, like, these are, these are, these are my thing. top. These are my t- I think I'm pretty happy with what I have here. Nah, this is a dope that collection. Right there, this know, is a dope. The, yeah. This is Kickstory right here. This is Kickstory right here. I think so, yeah. 97. Retros. Hype. From yeah. the same sh- model shoe. This obviously, hit, Supreme. Oh, obviously, Supreme saw something special with this shoe. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Honestly, I'm assuming they like this shoe because of its odd shape and the color combinations. They yeah. Say, you know what? Because they are pretty radical when it comes to like... For sure. Their styles, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything they collab with, they they try to put their spin to it. They try to add different materials, different colorways, stuff like that. Yeah. So, so I I feel like Supreme. They said, you know what? This is a crazy looking shoe. Mm-hmm. We want to stab at it. Yep. You know. Yep. Honestly, like if you look at this, this kind of reminds me like Rodman. I yeah. don't, for some reason, I don't know the some, air worms type thing, like the worms. Like yeah, 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 yeah. Honestly, like ninety seven. If you look at the ninety seven lineup of Nike basketball shoes, yeah, they all have crazy shapes and crazy color yeah. combinations like that. I think that's like one of the. The peaks of like yeah. design and performance, in my opinion. It, it, can I be honest with you? This is a this is kind of clean. Now, did the sneaker come with yellow laces? I put that on there. Yeah, of course, of course you did. I give that a little personal. I'm touch. surprised you didn't put yellow laces on the blue ones. Nah, Probably won't look right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but these, since they're all you know monochromatic, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I think it'd be nice to add that. You little know what? Splash. I don't even remember these coming out. Or like, when did these come out? I don't remember these coming uh, out. 2007. These came out in 2007. This is a clean... Yo, this is clean with I the... I really want to the, wear these on court, but not 2000, or 2007? No, that's how many they're going to crack. Right they're going to crack. They're going to, yeah. I see these little fog on the air bubbles. Wait, wait, wait. What laces did these come out with? Did these come with? Excuse All me. All black. All black everything. Okay. All black everything, yeah. Okay. Man, you... Man. This is a nice companion. Heat Let me right see here. those white ones. Heat. Let me see those white ones. Heat. I should wear one on one, right? I ain't gonna vouch for that, man. But you do your thing. <laughs> you <laughs> do nope. your thing. Nope. But you know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? You know why you want something? Because that's what Nike's doing, right? That's what Nike do it with Kyrie's. If you look at the new Ja Morant's, oh, one, like one, one, one. Yeah. Mix-match. So you you'll just be right in line. You'll be right in line. I'm, I'm noticing that the the shape is different for sure. Well, look at the shape. You want? Well, you want to see shape? Yeah. Come look at the shape with the OG in that. Yeah, I'm noticing the shape. Woo. Big time. Yeah. Dramatic. These are flat. Wide. They're flat and wide. wide. These are more like skinny and pointy. You, you, you know more what I really You know what I always thought about Nike 90s basketball sneakers or Nike Nike sneakers in the 90s in general? It always had a slope. 
it always had like it always yeah. had a slope from the air from Air Maxes nine fives to Air Max nineties to nice Jordan air turfs turfs it, every single ninety shoot right. it always came with a nice slope. Yeah, and I feel like when they do retros, they cannot the mold they can't mimic this. They're look. more like a a U, like 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 it's curving up. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, yeah, like yeah, all right. Yeah. So like if you look one. at yeah, yeah. Boom. now I know you got like shoe guards in here with everything, but even if without the shoe, it still has a slope. Yeah, you're right. And then you have this thing that got like it's a more like a ramp. It's like a ramp. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah womp yeah. womp. Yeah, right, right. So no, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And was confu- I mean, they got the mold for it. Just give us, give us the the, the exact. Come on now. From what I heard, they didn't keep a lot of those archives. Really? So how how do they? What was I don't know. Week? Okay. I don't know what. This is all what I heard, but I yeah. could be wrong. But from what I understand, they don't have the exact materials and molds from back in the day. I That's think something crazy. got lost in translation. That's it changed crazy. over time, and so on. I mean, it it gives you, like I said, the the, the purpose. I feel. Brands like Nike, um, they touch on nostalgia. They touch on our. They 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 know how to hit our emotional buttons when it comes to kicks. Yeah. And then when you get them, and then when you look at them like how we would look at them, we're like, oh, we still we still hype, we still love it, but mm, that missing factor. But at the end of the day, we can never go back in time. We just have to embrace the present. Let me you know share what I mean? this. Let me share this. I'm a little bit more lenient when it comes to not. When Nike comes out with something, that's oh, not 100%. You, I'm a stickler. <laughs> no. That's okay, what we're different. Okay, that's what we're different. Okay, okay. So, I, I see, I see your point. I'm a stickler, boy. I'm a little bit more lenient. Okay. Because overall, there's there's like 80% OG aesthetics. Okay. And those little details that I'm like, okay, I can, I, I can oversee that. I can, okay. I, I don't have to, you know, pay attention to that. Um, I, I, I'm So, I'm not too strict. Okay. I'm not too strict. I'm not too strict. Now, mm. something has to be totally off for me to be like really on their asses. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. for, for the most part, I think they overall, even though the shape that you pointed out in these uh, uh, Supreme big yeah. ones, I can overlook that. I can overlook I mean. That. You know why? Yeah. Because I felt I'm, I'm so in love with that shoe. That doesn't even matter. Mm. Like if you're in love with this girl, those little imperfections, you know, that everyone else might see, I'm like, I'm just in love with this yeah, girl. You know, yeah, yeah. I, I'm in love with that shoe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because from '97 to the retros to that, I'm yeah. like, I'm in love already. Yeah. You can't change my mind. You good know? point. Good, but good that's good just point. me. But I see your point because sometimes it's like, no, I want to, I want to, I want to see 100 percent true to what it was. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'm irrelevant because Nike's still gonna make the mass production anyway. True. So I fine. can complain all I want. I can say it's not this. This why the thread is not to the left and the right. I mean, I can I can nitpick for days, but at the end of the day, it touches the heart. That means it did the job. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it did the job because Lord knows how many retros I have. I look at it like, and I'm still rocking them. But even some of the retros that you pointed out to me, I'm like, dude, that is an obvious thing. I'm like, okay, I see where you're coming from. So yeah. I'm a stickler, man. No, I see where you're coming call from. Me, call me the retro police, man. There you go. I'm a stickler. Like, I, I, I'm going to hold you to that. I like that. I, I'm, the, I'm the retro. Call me the retro. You know what? That could be my little kickstory label, man. <laughs> retro police is in town because, shoot. When I see this OG and I'm looking at this, I'm like, this is dope. This is a good look. This is cool. This is clean. But the, uh, It's not 100, no, for sure. It, it, here's the thing. It could... It can never be a hundred. No, it's impossible you to can't. to duplicate something that twenty plus years ago, uh, thirty plus years ago into now. Yeah, but that's crazy. I, thirty, 30 years, years, man. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. These shoes are freaking older than a lot of the people who might be yeah. watching this. Yeah, right? yeah, crazy. yeah. But but when you live that time and it hits certain points of your life, you want to. Yeah, you want to relive it as a silhouette. But you also want those incredible details. Like, when they make Jordans and they make, like, they don't do, like, the suede. Like, I always talk to you about the Jordan 4s. The last Jordan 4s, um, breads, right? Um, it didn't have no suede cuts. It was just a dark-looking shoe. Whereas the originals had suede cuts. Even the 1999 version had suede cuts. Suede cuts being that little white. The white little tread. That's right. the cut of the, the suede. The side of the, the, the cut. Right, yeah, right, that's right. the cut of the suede. Right. When they made that latest retro, it, it wasn't... I mean, I went to certain lengths where I actually got an ID card and I actually trimmed it with some white, yeah, white, white pencil. Yeah, 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 that was like a thing to do, yeah, right? For sure. So, those little things. But at the end of the day, it connects... It's it's part of your kickstory, man. 
And that's the most important thing. That's what we're doing this podcast, right? Because sure. it is it, connecting to you. Shit. This connects to me. I'm sharing a piece of my history right here. This is your kick story, you know man. You know what I'm saying? What ties to what that's is current. Story, yep. And then the comparison between OG versus OG versus hype. Right. I lean towards the OGs, but I appreciate that this particular hype. And and yeah. You know, overall the hype. Yeah. I hope Nike continues to do something like this in the future. Yeah. You know, they keep it very subtle with yeah. the hype yeah. branding and more OG. I hope so. Yep. We'll see what happens. But this is where I lean towards. Jo- and I'm Listen, always gonna be an OG guy. Job well done. This is this is actually a dope episode. Like I must say, because this I'm is your to show this off. Man. Yeah, like, man. I get to show off like some of my stuff. Like you're talking about, I'm like hell yeah, let's do it. Listen, man. And, and and I look at you as one of the premier curators in the world. Dude, I'm. I mean, just I'm just keeping it. Dude, in. Dude, that's dude. how I feel. Dude, you know that's what a lot I mean? of weight on my shoulders. I mean, man. Listen, listen, <laughs> listen. It is what it is, right? I, I, and, and this makes me love the like like to talk about this partner with you, because um, this is kickstery. This is. You know, OG retro hype. You know what I mean? Like, this is what we're going to talk about. This is what this podcast is about. It's about the whole flavor, the whole niche of being a, a, in love with sneakers, being holistic. a sneaker. Yeah, holistic. For sure. This is, a no, whole, I get it, man. this is a holistic approach. I get it, man. You feel me? As cliche as it might sound, it's yeah, real stuff. It's real stuff. Dope. This is dope, man. And dope episode. I appreciate, you know, us doing this. For sure. You know? It's and I think look. we're going to do more of this. It's going to be fun. I know we said this before, but... This is just one example of like some of the things that that we value, and we could share these different things. 100%. And let us know what you think. Honestly, though, we want people to really comment on this type of thing. We you know? want we Do want engagement. Yeah, the hype. Obviously, a bunch of the young bloods out there are going to be yeah, hype is all you know all day mm-hmm. long. OG heads like me, you know, we're going to go towards the OGs, and that's cool. Me too. But overall, again, it goes back to the originators. For sure, this wouldn't exist. If it wasn't for this. If it wasn't for this. Mm-hmm. And the whole controversy behind that. Yep. And Supreme likes to do things, you know, outside the box. So that's yeah, why they chose the shoot. That, because that, they love the controversy and the story and behind that it. NYC font. Ooh, they love the story. They hit it. Because they know stories has a piece of history. Yes, sir. Stories have value. Mm-hmm. It's not just an empty vessel of just like, oh, it looks cool. No. Yeah, yeah, there's yeah. a story behind it. Yeah, for sure. You know? That's why that exists. For that's sure. That's why we exist. For sure. That's for why sure. we're here. Kick Street. History. We keep saying it, but it's true, and I and I hope that is something that people really uh, um, feel what we're saying 100%. and really take into account. 100%. You know, so you know, e- e- even for those OG heads out there, maybe you know some of the younger uh, crowd are not watching. Talk to your dad. Maybe your dad has some personal stories about where they grew up. For sure. Some of the things that they saw around. For sure. Those little things it, it makes what you have on a little bit more special. You know what? And, and at the end of the day, it connects us, man. For sure. It, it connects, connects us. It connects all us. All across the world. And, and that's all we want to do as sizes, humans, man. All that good stuff, and, and man. It brings people together. The Kicks to Be podcast, man. We want to connect. We want to connect people. In a world that can be filled with negativity. In, too a, much in of a world that. that can be filled too with fear. What we're doing is we're talking about something we love and we're connecting. We're yeah. connecting old with the new, young generation with the with the with the old generation. Across and the world, um man. yeah, and we just we want to be a sense of inspiration. For you know, sure. we want everyone to tell their kicks to be. One, you one. know, and have this one amazing platform to just really, really share the love and passion of kicks. Whether you like hype, whether you like OG, and there's some people that just want a retro. They just want a retro. They want to. They <laughs> want to get mean? a glimpse of what it was in, in, back in the exactly. day. Exactly. So they, they didn't live in this point, yeah. so they want that. They you want know? something so, close enough. Yeah. Yeah, man. Hey, I want to leave it at that, man. That was awesome, dude. That was awesome. One more time. <laughs> ah, <laughs> one more time. For good luck. For good luck. Ah, there we go. Right on. All right, man. Salute. Salute. Air, bacon, old, new, hype. Face. Thank you for watching this episode of Kickstory. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any episodes. And stay connected with us on Instagram and these podcast platforms listed here. We also want to hear from you. So make sure to comment below and give us your thoughts. Thanks again for your support, and we'll see you next time.